Welcome to the A-Star Cloud PBX Quick Start Guide, presented by Vox Telesis. In this video, we'll be configuring outbound routes on the A-Star Cloud PBX. This configuration will cover most US outbound calling situations. Outbound routes are a series of rules or dial patterns that determine how a phone call will connect to the public telephone system. When a user dials out to the public telephone system from an extension, the call will be routed to the correct trunk using your specified dial patterns. We will cover dial patterns in depth in an upcoming video. We'll start by clicking on the settings icon. Click call control. Click on the outbound routes tab. The Yaystar Cloud PBX comes pre-configured with a generic outbound route. We will be setting up an outbound route specific to Vox Telesis, so we will delete the pre-configured route. Click the add button. Give your outbound route a name of your choosing. The pre-configured dial pattern is X period. The X matches any digit from 0 to 9. The period matches one or more characters. Basically, this pattern will allow almost any call to use this route. We're going to restrict the outbound route so that we are in control of what outside phone numbers the users are allowed to dial. The dial patterns used in this video will be in the video description. We'll start by entering the seven digit pattern into the patterns field. Vox Telesis does not accept seven digit phone numbers directly. You'll need to prepend one plus your area code to the phone number. Enter one followed by your respective area code into the prepend field. Next, we will set up the 10 digit dial pattern. This allows the users to make calls to 10 digit phone numbers. Vox Telesis does not accept 10 digit numbers directly, so we will have to prepend a one to the number. We'll do this by entering 1 into the prepen field. Next, we will set up the 11 digit dial pattern. Vox Telesis accepts 11 digit dial patterns, so we will not need to prepen the number. If you wish to make international calls to any country using this outbound route, enter 011 period for this dial pattern. If you want to lock down international calling to a specific country, use this international dial pattern along with the country code. In this example, we're locking down international calling to country code 44, the United Kingdom. Please note that Vox Telesis does not allow calling outside the US 50 and Canada without permission from the customer. So if you plan to make international calls, please contact Vox Telesis support. If you wish to use this outbound route for emergency calling, add the 911 dial pattern. Please make sure that Vox Telesis has configured E911 services for your trunk before adding 911. Go ahead and verify that your Vox Telesis trunk is in the selected member trunks column. Member extensions are the extensions that are allowed to use this outbound route. In this example, we will allow all extensions to use this outbound route. Password allows you to set a password to prevent unauthorized calling on this route. Round Robin Memory Hunt is a strategy to rotate multiple trunks so that the same trunk isn't used every time. Click Save when finished. If you set up emergency calling on your outbound route, we highly suggest that you configure emergency number. When emergency number is configured, the extension making the emergency call takes priority over all other calls on the PBX. To set this up, we'll start by clicking on the emergency number tab. Click add. Enter the emergency number. For the US, this should be 911. Make sure that your trunk is set to Vox Telesis. The notification feature calls extensions of your choosing when the emergency number is dialed from any extension on the PBX. In this example, we will notify John and Kevin if 911 is dialed. Click Save when finished. Don't forget to click Apply to ensure that all changes to your Yaystar Cloud PBX are saved. You've successfully set up outbound routes on your Yaystar Cloud PBX. In upcoming videos, we will demonstrate how to make outbound calls on the Linka soft phone. If you have any further questions, please check out support.voxtelesis.com.